Come to lay not on his hands. Somebody can't see every fall. The fuck did he say? Somebody can't see every fall. Shim shim and them shim and them. What? I used to love hip hop. Was that was that a shirt or was that was that a dress? Oh yeah, that that was a dress. That was a dress. I think that was like a eight, seven, eight year old dress, right? <laughs> like a little girl dress. I used to love hip hop. I grew up with tapes back before lyricism was raped by a trap rapper that auto tunes his mumbled voice, where those that listen had more of a choice, but not now. See, now I hear big fish stories of whipping white and pushing dope and flicking a wrist to transform coke or sweating molly while sipping lean and giving opaque colored drugs famous white names like I'm going off that Justin Bieber or I got that Sarah Palin or I'm slanging that Paris Hilton, this that Lindsay Lohan, but damn. Let me take it to the club so I can eat the booty like groceries while she throw that ass in a circle and I beat the pussy up after I ask can she take this dick or nah. I remember when rappers rapped about being the best rapper and called other rappers whack if they didn't have the vernacular to put syllables together in forms considered spectacular. Coupled with punchlines, practice at lunchtime over a little sativa in a fucking high school bathroom before the bus line. I was born for this. And I get mad when my own lines conform to the twist. Like when that future beat bangs and my head starts to nod like a drunk promiscuous ratchet chick. I catch myself like space. Stop dancing to this shit. But this trap rap is catchy. I probably auto-tune my next medley.